Hello everybody, uh, the beginning of this video is uh, seven minutes showing exactly how to break a relatively simple unit and make it the most broken thing in the entire game, uh, and it serves as the backbone and explanation for uh, the game that is played afterwards uh, that gives context for how ridiculous the unit truly is. Um, if you are not interested in the process of how to break the unit and why it's broken, you can go ahead and skip to this timestamp here. Uh, otherwise, enjoy. Thank you. Hello, gentles and ladies, and I am Bison Gaming, and this is The Pirate, and it is currently the most broken unit in the game, though not in its current form. But let's go about changing that. The Pirate is a shock infantry unit, meaning it basically behaves like uh, hand cavalry. It didn't used to be this way, and in fact it was basically just a hand infantry unit along the likes of pikemen until it got changed uh, semi-recently throughout DE's life. Uh, part of, uh, as a weird slight bug, part of its uh, overhaul left in the fact that it has cover mode, making it the only shock infantry with cover mode, though that is not super relevant just, just yet. But there are a couple of things that we can take a look here. He has 16 hand attack and 185 HP, which makes him pound for pounds the best shock infantry unit in the game, just based off of base stats, except for maybe the rat and shields. But that is not why he is the best unit in the game in this current patch. It is because of a bug. And today we are going to be showing off how you can abuse this and make a frankly disgusting strategy uh, around this unit, or why this unit is something that you can make a frankly disgusting strategy around. Uh, we are playing with France, and that is because the pirate is guaranteed trainable using the Haiti Revolt. But before we do that, we are going to send Team Hand Cavalry Attack, which gives them plus 15% attack uh, in everything, as well as Advanced Arsenal, so that we get Advanced Arsenal Techs, giving us access to the Hand Cavalry and Shock Infantry do more damage against buildings. This does not raise their siege, but it actually gives them a multiplier, which means that this is a 25% boost that scales into the game. Uh, additionally, we are also going to be hitting Folk Heroes, which gives them uh, Shadow Teching for starting from age 3 and into age 4, uh, meaning that this is what our unit likes as an, uh, it looks like as an industrial level. And then we will be shipping Theaters to reduce their population from 2 to 1, though you won't see this change just yet. This is a change that will be seen more so af uh, after we revolt for some weird reason. So after you've done these things, you can click up into the revolts to Haiti. Now I need to turn DevSD off here, uh, but, but this makes all of your town centers and your saloons trickle these for free, and it will also make them trainable if they weren't trainable already on the map. Uh, this map, this unit has a lot of different skins, by the way, and they all look very pleased, pleasing to look at. They're, it's a very fun model. But while we are here, there is one shipment in particular that belongs to Haiti that we are going to pay attention to, and that is Letter of, Mar of the Marquis. Passes a law which permits pirates to carry firearms, gather from crates, and loot treasures. Pirates and privateers loot treasures more thoroughly than other units, and privateers now provide a steady slow of coin obtained from piracy. Arr. Now this does quite a few things. It does add 12 to their line of sight and gives them quite a powerful attack that we will be going over uh, in depth as this shipment arrives. And it truly is bonkers. But before we get there, you will notice that this unit still has the hand infantry tag, which means that they will gain benefit from infantry breastplates. So while that comes in, you can you notice that our models have changed. We have a new volley mode that we have access to, and they have 24 ranged attack. Uh, additionally, they now cost only one population as theaters has its effect come into play here. Uh, and they have 24 range attack at 20 range at 2.5 speed, which is just silly. Um, but you can see they still have their cover mode, only now that we've sensed this card, uh, there is a counter infantry breastplate coming in. Now that we've sent this card, 
when we go into cover mode, you'll notice that even though their hand attack is halved, their ranged attack is not, meaning that we have a 20 range, 2.5 speed, 24 ranged attack unit with 60% range resistance and 50% siege resistance. In addition, because it doesn't actually have the infantry tag as it is shock infantry, it has no multiplier against artillery, meaning this that this unit takes 50 damage from falconet shots to the face. Uh, additionally, we can at any point literally just go back into melee or shoot mode and have our 6.25 speed, meaning that this unit not only counters cavalry, but also, and it basically has nothing that has multipliers against it, but it also is extremely fast. In fact, the only things that have multipliers against this unit, because it lacks uh, the, because it lacks the uh, infantry or even heavy infantry tag yet still retaining its hand infantry tag is the, the only things that have multipliers against this are heavy infantry and dragoons and this unit does actually have a negative multiplier against heavy infantry however they will still win against cabrolians and musketeers in shootouts because of the 60 percent range resistance which basically negates any kind of multiplier that comes around and with their 6.25 movement speed they can easily outrun any pikeman that exists and i mean it's it's not even a contest against dragoons. They're going to they're going to win with the sixty percent range res. Now, in addition, we have fifty two siege, which is just a stupid amount of siege for this unit. But if that was all, then we wouldn't be here now because there is more. For whatever reason, this unit ha when this unit gets the pistol, it gains the gunpowder trooper and rifle infantry tags, but not the ranged infantry tags. Uh, which means that it's not going to get multiplied from things like Skivone, but it still gets benefits, from, not from military drummers, unfortunately, but from paper cartridge and flintlock and counter-infantry rifling. Yes, you heard that correct. We're going to hit DevSD here, uh, and you're going to notice that this unit now has a two times multiplier against heavy infantry, the only unit that is actively supposed to counter them which is just silly. And that is why this unit at 315 HP, 27 range attack at 20 range at 2.5 speed with 60% range res and 50% siege res counters every unit in the game and is countered by nothing and is the best unit in the game. It only costs one population for these outstanding stats and it only costs 110 coin to train. And that is the Buccaneer. Oh, I would love it if he made longbows. You'd love it if he makes anything except goons. I mean, even that. You... Yeah, the the main the, the, the thing with the goons is that you trade evenly, but it just takes forever. I mean, do we trade evenly? Because I got they, they made. It seems uh... like I have higher stats. You have higher HP, way lower damage. Oh, what map is this? Oh, it's Texas. Okay. Texas. Oh, sending me your cows. Yep. Why do you always send me your cows? Oh. Well, in this strategy, the faster we can get you off the ground, the better. That's true. I'm not really limited like, by my I, food gather, I, though. Yeah, he's limited by the, the coin. Yeah, but still, if I can accelerate you even by a few seconds, if I make a difference with this strategy. That's so, true. If Every you, second if you do does wanna, count, because of how new you are. If you do want to try this on 1v1s, you can play slow by going right for, like, half native build you go semi you play into h2 a little bit of real musk uh as soon as you can h2 3 you go straight up to h4 and you get your shipment of 25 real musk you can hold on to the game up, up until you get to haiti and everything that's what my friend used to do made up the yeah but i like high risk so i like to purposely just make risk <laughs> yeah and most unit, most a P unit ever. Oh, you like that? You like that deck name? Yes, sir. Hi, 
Now that the devs have shown that they're willing to put hero sheep in the game, I really want a hero cow so I can name it Momu. You can't name them. Hey, you need to delete those. The delete that cow you got. Ooh. That oh or get it God. out of there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a what a spot! I didn't even notice I had those. I only have 100 food left. We won't go for a 15th one. Come on. Come, there we go. So, are you getting mercantilism here to help out with the XP? No, that's what I grabbed a, a, that's what I grabbed one of these bad boys for. And then I get if I get some wood treasures, I usually make a church as well. In the... The build of the, the royal musk, what would usually happen is that by age, by age four, if you wanted to be really greedy, you could get both mercantilism and Rude. the variation of mercantilism in the, the royal thing. So then you get like 4k XP, five shipments. Okay, so Britain's on my side, which is an interesting situation. We'll see how that goes. Son of a bitch. That boy trying to steal. Oh, he got it. He got it. Is it the Brit player? He's yep. stolen a treasure from me already, too. He's good. Run away, you're getting bit by the Phil. Uh, forgot to ask even are you completely recording this match or are you gonna use the replay? I'm I, I do both usually and decide which one I like more. I'm gonna shut up. No no feel free to chat. Feel free to chat. I will chat now. <laughs> glad, glad you can just turn that on and off like a switch. <laughs> Oh my god, what the fuck are you idle for? The hell? Alright, I need another house. I need 200 coin. Risk another pass. Again, what the fuck are you idle for? There are clearly dead animals to be collected. I'm gonna need to start getting this in. Well, I pissed off uh, British, so he's probably longbows. Oh, yes! He's double oh, raxing. He's, he's double, double raxing longbow pike. 
Oh shit, he popped pikes at the exact second. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be one of those games. Alright, that's nice. Oh, I chopped entirely too much wood. And mine just a little bit too much coin. Okay, those are yours. I freaked out for a second. <laughs> yeah, I'm sending them down to... He's double raxing. I'm gonna get hit for just a second. Going more heavily on the call sex this time, I see. Right here, right here. Watch out. Oh. <sighs> He, he doesn't have the pikes near him, though. He's alone with the longbows. He can ambush him with, with these. Oh, yeah. I will turn back. Oh, no, there's a settler wagon. That's... No, they're, they're right there. Oh, that's that's equally as good. I like that. Okay. There we go. I started aging to four. Apache Cavalry. Yep. Alright, Apache's coming towards you up here. Yep, I see him. Nice, they're all dead. Or at least most of them. Uh, one will get away. I feel like I'm low on XP this game. Full heroes done. Whoa, Brits is hitting me. I'm gonna need your help. Yep, I'm um, coming your way. Yeah, I want to get it. Uh, might want to use the coin to get mercantilism, you know? Oh no, you got Russia to help. Okay. Yeah, but the problem is they were just burning down the trade post. Which sucks, I'm gonna want that back. Yeah. Can't really live too well without that. I'm going to stop producing settlers. It's just going to slow me down later. It's a lot of time and resources for just one extra fucking revolutionary.
sure I get some recruits out. Okay, how's everything going on your end? Oh, uh, no issues right now. Alright. It's good to hear. Alright, I have all my techs that I need. I'm basically just get, getting the res to revolt now. Nice. Longbows potentially can give me a run for my money just through sheer force of uh, DPS. DPS. Nope. Your cav. I know, but just through sheer DPS, their their negative multiplier from cav isn't that low. Yeah, but it can melee them. Yeah, I, I, I'm not. I'm, just, I'm gonna win the downer. I'm just saying they might do more damage but to me than not. some like the Obus gun will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna be awesome though. I'm gonna hit Brits first, I think. Yep, we can go in together. All right, I'm gonna meet you here. Yep, right by my, uh, yeah. Yeah, let me know when you wanna push. I, I wanna get about, around 15 dudes at a minimum. Reasonable. Not gonna send a uh, buccaneers. Oh shit! Yeah, thank you for reminding me. I almost forgot about that. I can't believe that would have been a disastrous <laughs> the most forget. Important card here. Yeah, that that would have been disastrous to forget. I very nearly did forget it. Oh, there's settlers here. Okay, as soon as Buccaneers arise, we attack. I have 19 troops. All right. I have 100. Okay, there's the Buccaneers and my right. last batch. Okay, let's go. Yeah, uh, let me see if I can solo the Brit army with with just my buccaneers. Oh, there's tons of pikes. Be careful. Okay, copy. Thank you. Yeah, if you run into them, just pull back towards me and the my sheer. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go deal with this real quick. That's nice. We can still inch forwards a little bit though, but uh, I need to stop yeah. him from burning down my base. Yep, yep. Germany going outlaws, huh? I think Germany is just playing around. All right. I, don't know, right. I really should do. This God, thing. I love six point two five speed. Okay, now, oh longbows! Oh, really? Yeah, they're all down here somewhere. Longbows. Well, burning down his racks if he's not here to fight. 
Oh, there, there's there pipes. There they are. Whoa, right there, right there. Okay, this is definitely the biggest fight we've been put under with this strategy. You've got talks, you've got talks, you've got talks. Yep, yep. Age four Brits. Not gonna do anything for him. Oh, watch out! He's got two. He's got cannon and whatnot in the background. Yeah, I'm working on it. You can sit. You can ship six more cannons yourself. Indeed, I can. And get these cannons out on the front lines. <laughs> I thought things were getting a little dicey there, but no. Oh. You gotta deal some Apache in my base. No, oh, that's nice. Here, Whole I'll send 20 bunch skeletons. of pikemen. I'll send a bunch of skeletons. Oh, and watch a out, watch out here. Uh... Okay, I caught a factory wagon. Very nice. Nice. Fritz is out. Oh, I, I didn't get a like the little ding. There it is. Nice. That was a good one. Oh, that was a good fight. Yeah. They put up a lot more fight than the previous. They, I'm definitely putting up this live game over over the previous one that yeah, we yeah, tested. Yeah. I mean, they actually, you know, pressured us a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, there was and that they had a, they had a, a huge amount of military. Two hundred. You got a KD of four. Oh my god, dude! Two hundred and eleven <laughs> units killed, fifty-seven lost. Oh Jesus! Oh my god! Oh poor Germany, fifty-one killed, two hundred and eighty lost. Oh. Uh, Ger Germany wasn't. That's rough. It wasn't doing too too not. It wasn't doing too well. No. But even Brits. Brits I think had he a negative was out KD. of coin because he kept he 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 made this huge run of auto masses and he was just out of coin. He was making pikemen. Yeah. And the run of auto is a good unit, but not in this matchup. It it, it is a good unit. What? Yeah, man. I mean, it's no Alhut. 
but yeah, I Alhoot is just Renegado, but better. Same with Bandito. Uh, but I mean, it's got the same stats as the Alhoot, and the Alhoot's a great unit. In fact, I'd I'd go so far as to say the Alhoot is probably the best performing H five skirmisher in the game. <laughs> 